Tuesday, May 2nd, at the Village Board meeting, the Village of Vernon Hills announced those who are being recognized for their service in the United States Armed Forces as part of Vernon Hills Honors Military Banner Program. These banners will be displayed along the town's 4th of July parade route on Deer Path and Sullivan Drives from May through November. This ceremony included those previously recognized in 2022 along with the new class of 2023. The inaugural class of 2022 paid homage primarily to members of Vernon American Legion Post 1247. This included the post commander, his daughter, who is currently serving on active duty, along with several other young residents who the post previously saluted as part of their send off to basic training. Other recipients of a banner include a former trustee, a former police officer, and a former airline pilot who are all members of Post 1247. Within the class of 2023, we are honoring a more diverse group of residents that in many cases have not only served, but served in hostile environments and have borne the brunt of battle. Included in the class of 2023 is another former trustee who served in the U.S. Navy as a seaman during World War II and has since passed, an octogenarian who served in the U.S. Army, several veterans of the Vietnam War, and an Iraq War veteran. These individuals, along with a former village employee, police officer, and recent graduate of Vernon Hills High School, who is currently a cadet at West Point, along with several other of your neighbors, make up the class of 2023 banner recipients. Good evening and welcome friends and comrades. Approximately one year ago today, staff was sharing information on behalf of American Legion Post 1247 regarding upcoming Memorial Day events and highlighting village tradition of recognizing those who served in the U.S. Armed Forces. At the conclusion of the presentation, staff was asked by the board to review Boulevard Banner programs in which a veteran's name, image, and branch of service could be displayed and placed for the community to see. The stated intent of the banner program was to honor residents who served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Staff researched several programs and with board direction implemented the Vernon Hills Military Banner Program. As the American Legion was planning their annual outing and fundraising event, the board asked staff to identify a few veterans who could be honored during the fall of 2022 to help create awareness of this program. Tonight, we will present the original group and the incoming group of service members and veterans. We have a total of 21 individuals who will be recognized this evening and throughout 2023. While each person has a distinct legacy and a special story, all have two important criteria in common. Each is called Vernon Hills home, and each has served with honor. The order in which persons are presented is the order in which the village and legion received applications. By Memorial Day, banners will be placed along Deer Path Drive from the area of Mayflower to Sullivan and from Sullivan to Aspen. As many may know, this is the route of the July 4th parade and these banners will be visible for all to see. I will now announce the names of each recipient. Let us begin. Sergeant Morgan Ranahan, United States Army. Specialist William Bill Wagner, United States Army. Major Craig Warner, United States Air Force. Specialist 6, James E. Schultz, United States Army. Sergeant Todd Renahan, United States Army. Specialist Logan Shue, 
United States Army. Specialist Brandon Espinosa, United States Army. Lance Corporal Matt Hart, United States Marine Corps. Lance Corporal Stephen Hart, United States Marine Corps. Lance Corporal Gregory LaBelle, United States Marine Corps. Private First Class Daniel Huang, United States Marine Corps. Technical Sergeant Lisa Fischbach, United States Air Force. Seaman James T. Heyer, United States Navy, <clears throat> service in World War II. As many may know, James has since passed, but his legacy lives on in Vernon Hills. Sergeant Guy E. Mylander, United States Army, service in Vietnam. Specialist 4, John Taylor, United States Army. Sergeant Barry Gray, United States Air Force. Sergeant Christopher Kelly, United States Army, service in Iraq. Corporal Solomon Gindin, United States Army. Private First Class Sheldon Cooper, United States Army. Lieutenant Melvin Wolf, United States Army, service in Vietnam. Cadet Owen Ray, United States Military Academy, West Point. Village Board, these are your 2023 Vernon Hills Honors Banner recipients. I would now like to invite uh, Todd Renahan, Commander of Post, American Legion Post 1247 up. He is not only a recipient of a banner, he is the father of a soldier who is currently serving, who is recognized here this evening as well. Todd. Thank you, John, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much, uh, trustees. I just, John said, I'm Todd Renahan, Commander of the American Legion Post 1247. I'm rarely at a loss for words, but now I'm in front of a camera. But, uh, Trustee Dr. Oppenheim, you uh, you blew us away. Tonight's a big deal. It really is. Uh, so a lot of the guys on there served during combat. They didn't come home to fanfare like this. Tonight's a big deal, Dr. Oppenheim. Um, Want to thank uh, the trustees for helping uh, starting this program. But the one that did all the legwork was actually John Petrillo. Thank you very much, John. You did all the legwork. Thank you. Get, a a military finish. person himself. Yes. <laughs> yes, John served. Uh, for some reason, he thought, like Mr. Espinoza, it'd be fun to jump out of airplanes. But uh, nonetheless, uh, he, he served his country as well, and he'll have a banner as well. We started from Jim Heyer, who served in World War II, to those that served in Vietnam, Desert Storm, current, the, the Iraqi War, to those that served during but not in combat, and even a West Point cadet who will serve his country as well. Those of us that served did so to serve a greater purpose than ourselves. But on behalf of American Legion Post 1247, we thank you for honoring those of us that served, and thank you so much, and Dr. Oppenheim, we salute you. Thank you. No one ever spoke truer words than that of our late great president, Abraham Lincoln, when he wrote in 1863, Honor to the soldier and sailor everywhere who bravely bears his country's cause. Honor also to the citizen 
who cares for his brother in the field and serves as he best can the same cause. Honor to him only less than to him who braves for the common good the storms of heaven and the storms of battle. In recognition, we need to acknowledge the efforts of the village government of Vernon Hills, Illinois, for the care and attention they have brought forth to those who indeed have bravely bore their country's cause. Also to be thanked are members of the Vernon American Legion Post 1247, not only for their service, but for their continuing dedication to the veteran community also to the community as a whole. Without the collaboration of these two outstanding organizations, the programs and good works we celebrate might not ever come about. 